how are you? All right, we're here with another video for this year, this week's or this month's theme, um, which is for my year 2017, which is Think Spring slash Tipidin. And um, I wanted to talk to you about more flowers. So there's a million different ways you can add flowers, flower colors, the suggestions of flowers in spring, of new green things, of a fresh start, um, all of that stuff into your journals. This, here's one idea. So I have this, another drawer, <laughs> um, not unlike my nature drawer, just a little smaller, but no less full of flowers. And these are for the most part, homemade flowers. Um, I have a couple of different videos on my channel already uh, for different ideas on how to make flowers. I will link them in the description below. Um, but here is just a quick overview of some different things that you can do. Everything from simple punched shapes out of fun painty papers or book text or just about anything in flowery shapes. You could punch them or die cut them and use them in your journals. Here's one that somebody gifted me um, that's been punched and then inked around the edges and then layered with a pretty rhinestone in the middle. That would be fun to use in your journal. And some of these are from Happy Mail, some I've made. Um, so I, I love getting and um, giving and receiving flowers. Here are some simple doodle flowers. These are done on book text paper and um, they are painted and inked stenciled first, maybe they wipe their brushes off on them and then cut the flowers out there. It's a great easy way to do flowers. These two are done on the inside of security envelopes. You know, the kind that you get your bills and bank statements in where it has the printing on the inside of the envelope. These I did and they're doodled and then I colored them in with alcohol markers. This one I did that same way, only I used book text and watercolor markers. The, this one is uh, watercolor, or I'm sorry, paper that I had acrylic paint I wiped off on. And then I made little flower shapes, cut them out, and then stacked them on top of each other, put a little blob of glue in the middle with some glitter, and made this cute little, I've got a bunch of these in the bottom of the drawer. These are the most recent ones that I've done. These are on newspaper. That's just these scribbly shapes in acrylic paint. And then I layer, layered, I did some that were just green and some that were more flowery colors with the black center and I layered them on top of each other. They were fun to do. And here's one that I did on plain white paper the same way, just plain white single layer. So there's a lot of different fun ways you can add flowers, flower type things, um, spring things to your um, journal, look around and see what you have. Um, again, I'm going to link my two, my whatever flower making videos I can find on my channel in the description below. And I hope it gives you some great ideas. Don't forget to um, share any great ideas that you have with the My Year 2017 group on um, making and adding spring flowers to your journal. If you don't know what the heck My Year 2017 is and you want to find out, it's a Facebook group. Uh, the link for it and my other Facebook group are in the video description, along with my Etsy shop. If you want to support my channel by shopping in my Etsy shop, uh, you can send me happy mail. My address is down there. My email is down there. All of that stuff. And uh, like, share, and subscribe if you can. The most important thing, of course, is to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.